This video shows how to set up the Holiday Coro Smart 16 AC receiver with X lights. In this particular video, we have the receiver set to all down or the zero position in this long range smart receiver addressing scheme. It's also important to note that we are going to be testing and showing you the output confirmations on these 16 lights right here. Uh, let's show you where the data is coming from on this particular controller. So what you see here is you see a Hinkspix Pro version 2 and a Hinkspix is required. This does not work with an Alphapix. That is coming out of the ribbon cable down here to the outputs 1 through 16 or the first board. So ports 1, 2, 3, 4 are this orange jack. That orange cable comes out and then goes down to the receiver and is then finally plugged right in here to the line in jack. All right, now that we have an idea of where everything is connected, let's switch over into X lights. Now, we assume at this point you've already configured your controller. It is configured as a Hinkspix Pro. See our other videos for configuring the controller itself within X lights. This does not cover this. Next thing we need to do is with an X lights, you always have to have a prop for all of your items. And it's going to be a little bit unique because we're going to use something called a channel block instead of individual props. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to the channel block section right here. I'm going to click on that and that will just create a little block. Now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and draw this out and I am going to put this as one single channel block. It is possible to create multiple channel blocks if you want distinct and unique items in your display. And you can then daisy chain those together. It is possible to also do that with single output intensity props. That is beyond the scope of this particular video. This is showing you the basic configuration of X lights. So a channel block needs to be 18 channels. And why is that? This is because this product is designed around pixels and three times six is 18, but we're only using 16 outputs. Thus, we want to be able to use just the 16 we need, not the two extras. The two extras appear at the very beginning of the output. So what we're going to do, we're going to go in our channel block and we're going to put in here 18. And just for reference here, I'll just go ahead and change this to long range smart 16 AC receiver. All right. Now, you may also find it easier when you go into sequence, which we'll show you in a moment. You can go in and name these individual channel blocks. So what you can do is you can come down here to the section that has strand node names. Just come over here, click on this little dots, and you can give them names. So we're going to give this name unused, and that's because the first two are not used. And we'll call this flood one, and we'll call this flood two and you could then have these as future channels. Now it is important to understand that all 18 have to be in the block. Whenever you're configuring this long range it must have the entire block of all 18 channels assigned to it. Okay so uh, let's, I think we're going to need to put in here yes you need to put a unique name in for each one or otherwise X lights will not let you save that. Okay so um, what we're going to do is go ahead and click OK. And now we can see that we um, have the ability, actually here, go in here, uh, to also set the colors. To set the colors of a particular output, you can go up here and click on that particular section. So remember, our first two are not used. But let's just pretend that the string of lights hooked up to output one were orange and that the string of lights hook up to output two were purple. Uh, you So you can change those particular colors to fit. Okay, that's purely just for a sequencing standpoint. We're going to go ahead and save that. Now again, we got our full block of 18 outputs. We're going to come over, back over to controllers and we're going to select our Hinkspix Pro which is driving this receiver. We're going to click on the visualize button in the bottom left here 
and we're going to take our long range block and drag it over here to the port one and this is because this is the left jack the red uh, and then these are the remaining three jacks that are on that receiver so just for reference again this is the red one which is right here okay so your controller may be set up differently now at this moment it is not set up as a receiver we need to right click on this say smart remote and then we give it our number now again as I mentioned at the very beginning this receiver is set up as address zero if you have multiple receivers hooked up in daisy chain off the same jack you may need to adjust your addressing now we also need to right click again and go into smart remote and say the type of receiver this is a Hinkspix 16 AC receiver okay assuming you have no errors down here we can see we have six pixels which is 18 channels so we're all good to go here now so we're gonna go ahead and upload this output into the controller uh, and so we'll be back in just a moment once this controller reboots alright our controller has rebooted and we're just gonna take a look internally at the configuration we can see that 18 channels have been configured on this stream and it even says that it's a long-range smart 16 AC so everything looks good here so let's come back into our X lights and start doing our testing we do not recommend testing using a sequence first go into tools test and we can go ahead and go into the models um, that makes it easier and you'll notice that we have our smart 16 AC receiver block right here and uh, you can see they're here um, if you do name them on the node side they will appear under your names here alright so what I'm gonna do is I am gonna go ahead and come over here on the background under standard I'm just gonna move this to the up position right here and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and turn on the first four outputs remember these first two are not utilized so we're just going to check off these four so this is output one two three four and I'm not going to show you the output here and you can see that one two three and four are all turned on here and if we come back over here we could turn on uh, 16 15 14 and 13 show that to you here right there 16 15 14 and 13 and they're all controlling as you would expect all right now how does this work from a sequencing standpoint so we'll go into say file new sequence and we'll just go ahead and create an animation and here we expand our smart AC receiver um, now here you can see that the names have come across as flood one flood two don't use these unused ones and they even have the colors in them as we've specified so you could come over here I'm just going to use the simple on command so I'll say on and you can see that that is orange in color and then I'll go ahead and do the on command over here so I will put it overlapping this one just a little bit and this is output 2 so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this output on and I'm gonna go ahead and hit play and then switch over to our actual output you can see output one is on now two is on now one is off and then two will go off after just a brief second here there we go and you can see that that was allowing us to control them this completes the setup information if you should have additional questions about configuration of this product feel free to reach out to us at holidaycore.com forward slash long range